for the London Marathon this year. Looks like it should stay dry, though it will be quite a chilly start in London. It's going to be a cold night for many of us tonight, though. There'll be a widespread frost across England and Wales. Temperatures in rural spots down to minus 2 or minus 3 degrees. Some patchy frost further north in Scotland. Not quite so cold for Northern Ireland. Here we've got some cloud and eventually some rain on the way. The cloud massing there out to the west. That's going to bring us some rain, but it is creeping our way only very, very slowly. It looks like it'll take all night to eventually see some rain into Northern Ireland. And by the end of the night, there'll be some rain across the far southwest of England. But that wetter weather is going to creep its way eastwards gradually. So a very different day in prospect at the Millennium Stadium for the second FA Cup final, semi-final, as the wet and windy weather creeps its way in. Many places, though, will start off dry and bright with some sunshine, particularly across the eastern half of the UK in the morning. We will see more cloud around during the afternoon, but many of these areas staying dry and until late in the day. It's really in the west that we've got the thickest of the cloud, not looking too good at all for Northern Ireland. The rain turning steadier and heavier, the wind strengthening, and that wind blowing in some rain into western Scotland through the Irish Sea to Wales and the southwest of England through the afternoon. That wetter, windier weather will peg back the temperatures to typically 9 degrees, but better further east with some sunshine, 15 degrees should be quite pleasant. But it will be a cold night tonight, some rain in the west on Sunday, wet on Sunday night, and for the start of next week. See you tomorrow.